Hey everyone, uh, so I'm doing a recap. Uh, I figured that since I have a pretty good angle uh, set up for the camera the way it is right now, um, so I hope you guys all enjoyed watching the whole case break. This is the first case I've ever bought and of anything actually in terms of uh, going after the hits in, for Marvel anyways. Uh, but I can tell you uh, one case was pretty good. I think I'm good buying cases. This was fun, a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it, specifically for this set, since I really, really love the characters. Uh, but in terms of if you're the type who just wants to complete the base set, I definitely would not recommend buying a whole case, because you really don't. Uh, I'll explain that shortly. So let me start off with, I'll go through the base set, the uh, Green Parallels, uh, and then we'll go from there. I haven't really sort of structured this. I'm kind of doing this on a whim, but uh, just give me one second. Okay. So this is just half the base set. That's just 50 cards. Uh, let me just grab the other half. Okay. So in one case, uh, you're pre you're for sure going to complete at least one base set. Uh, so the question becomes, how many base sets can you get? Uh, well, I will say I have three full base sets uh, with a fourth that's near completion, maybe short. I want to say ten cards at the most, and then I have like a small little pile of uh, like fifth copies of some of the base cards. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, now for the now the green parallels. Uh, for the green parallels, actually did manage also a full set. So again, just uh, for comparison's sake, it's just green foiling instead of the silver foiling. Um, so, yeah, uh, you are also pretty much, well, okay, I won't, I won't say pretty much guaranteed you'll complete a full green parallel set, uh, but you will get majority. So, in one case, I was able to get one full green uh, parallel base set with uh, some duplicates, M maybe like, I want to say like, like between like 30 or so. Uh, 30 or so uh, duplicates, while the rest you could hit uh, some of the insert, green parallels of the inserts, so either artifacts, um, artifacts, spellcraft stories, uh, spirits of vengeance, or strange tales. Uh, hoping the lighting is not too bothersome, because I know it's kind of, I'm still trying to figure this out. But uh, I will, for now, keep it this way. I can't guarantee it's going to be good, but I'll figure it out. Anyways, so those, that's the parallels, uh, the green parallels and the base. So let me just move these out of the way. Uh, okay, so over here. I'm going to move the base set out of the way as well because I know it's very reflective with the lighting and it can be hard to see. Okay, just going to move this out of the way. Now, let's see, what should I go through next? So let's go with some of the inserts. So I'll go from, uh, I'll do it that way. So the main, uh, or actually I should probably show you some of the green parallels that you could expect. So these are the green parallels of the inserts. Obviously you're not going to get like a full green parallel set of any particular insert set uh, in a case, but you'll get, you'll get some. Uh, there were still some duplicates like Vengeance, uh, Spirit of Vengeance. Um, and as of this video, like while I'm recording, I still haven't seen any checklists of uh, pop up yet for 
for the set. I'm not sure why, which is interesting to me. Uh, so I know the base has a hundred card base so at green parallel, same thing. So we so I managed to complete at least one of each, uh, as well as spellcraft. Now here's the thing with the spellcraft stories. Uh, if, let me see if I can fit them all. So spellcraft stories, spirits of vengeance, uh, artifacts, and the strange tales. I don't know how many cards are in each of these insert sets. However, uh, what I did find that I got uh, nine spirits of vengeance. Right. So I'm assuming that there are only nine cards in this insert set since I did get uh, every single one from 1 to 9 and there were duplicates uh, same with same with the Darkhold artif or sorry not Darkhold uh, the artifacts sub uh, insert set so there were 9 of these and I got 1 to 9 so I'm not sure if there are others if there are others please let me know if anybody has seen anything that's numbered higher than 9 if they exist uh, so that's that. And the Spellcraft Stories, there is 18 that I found. Uh, unique ones, anyways. So there's a whole bunch. And obviously in a case, I received a lot of duplicates of these as well. Since these are the, the most common insert you can get from the packs. So in a case, you're definitely going to get at least one of each. So including the artifacts as well. Artifacts, spellcraft stories, um, spirits of vengeance, and strange tales. I think you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least one of each of, at least what I have. So there's also 18 uh, strange tales, strange tale cards, as far as I'm aware anyways. So I, this is one of my favorite ones with Morbius and Spider-Man. I do want to be able to go through uh, I was thinking whether or not to go through every single base card, but it is a lot of cards, that's like 100 in total, and I didn't want to make this video too long, as it's already like going into 7 minutes. Um, so yeah, if since I don't see a full checklist, I'm not sure if that is all for these inserts. If it is, then for sure in a single case, you're more than likely going to be able to pull at least one of each uh, unique card. Um, as for Ultra Shades, let's move on to Ultra, Ultra Shades. So, Ultra Shades, again, I really don't know how many cards are in this. I think there was 50, possibly, because I only have up until 33, and I believe there are some short prints, I just and sh super short prints. However, I'm not sure what numbers they start at, because, again, I don't have a checklist, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, obviously, I didn't get all of them. Uh, I got about, let's see, I think I have 13, yeah. So, I've in one case, about 13. 13 Ultra Shade cards, uh, if, excluding the red art, uh, red parallel artifact, or sorry, red parallel auto autographed Ultra Shade. Uh, otherwise, yeah, in terms of unique num and this surprisingly, I actually didn't get any duplicates in uh, Ultra Shades. They were all unique, including the uh, autographed one, which I'll be showing shortly. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually really cool. I do like the Ultra Shades set because as it, it looks it looks really nice without uh, the extra sort of silver border and the fact that it's it's basically like an oil painting. Uh, that's especially why. And I like how they did more than one painting for a character. So like, for example, Moon Knight. And some others. Uh, I think Morbius also come more than one, I'm not 100% sure, but they do look very cool. Uh, okay, so let's move those out of the way. Let's move on to a, another sort of uh, chase set that's in, in this sort of Midnight Suns, which is the medallions. So there are 50 medallions. And in a case, I did get one of each unique ones. So I did get all 50. Uh, I do have a few duplicates. I think about a hand, like a couple handfuls of duplicates, not that many, which is good. 
because I, it is really cool that I do have all 50. Uh, I know the light is sort of reflecting off it. I'll put it over here so it's not too bad. I'll try to go through them uh, sort of slowly or quickly. Again, I really don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. Uh, but I do want to show some of the artwork. So I'm hoping it comes out right enough. Or it's not too reflective. So there are some cool characters in here. Obviously the ones that... Uh, like for example, Electro. Although all these are really comic art, but doesn't mean they aren't good. Like Howard the Duck is cool. It's kind of funny. You have Hulk. Captain America was a pretty good one. You have Johnny Blaze. This is like the King of Hell version of him. Um, what else? Yeah, Madam Web. She looks really cool. Uh, Magic. Uh, I've seen people pull the gold parallel of this one, and it does look really cool because she is in yellow. Uh, Man Thing. Moon Knight is always awesome. This Morbius, I think, is really badass. Uh, who else we got? Phantom Rider looks really cool. Uh, so there's Robbie Reyes. I've never really been a fan of of his design when I first saw it in the comics. Um, the live action version that appeared in Agents of Shield was pretty cool. I'll admit. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm still not the biggest fan of the comic design. Although I guess there's only so much that they could do with how he looks, because I mean all the Ghost Riders are, well, the two main ones anyways, Danny Ketch and Johnny Blaze are wearing leather jackets and riding a motorcycle, right? Uh, so there's Sabretooth, he looks really cool. This Spider-Man is really cool. I, th I don't want to just jump to a conclusion and assume the artist, but it does remind me of Alex Ross type of art. It, maybe it is Alex Ross, I don't know. If it is, please let me know. Uh, but it does remind me of that, though, if it isn't. There's, Mighty, there's the Jane Foster, Mighty Thor, and Thor behind her. Venom is really cool. I like that they chose this particular artwork to put on this medallion. Uh, Wolverine. I wouldn't say that would be the best image to choose. I think there are better options. Carnage looks really cool with all the tendrils and stuff. Uh, who else we got? Yep, so these are some of the duplicates. I think, are these duplicates? I, yeah, so those are the duplicates at the bottom. Uh, so there are some duplicates. Let's see, what was the last one? It doesn't exactly go by alphabetical order. Let me see. In 49. Wong. Wong is the last one. It does go by alphabetical order. So Wong is the last card in the set. And then uh, the rest of these are duplicates. So there's about, uh, from looking at it, probably close to 20. So those are the uh, those are the medallions. Now to go on to some of the non-numbered hits that I have put into, uh, let me see, I just want to make sure I have everything here, so, okay, so here's the non-numbered hits, uh, I'll go through, let's see, how should I do this, okay, I'll go through the, let's just put them here for now, so, some of the chase hits includes the ultra abilities. Uh, luckily, out of all the chase hits, I actually didn't have any duplicates in a case, which is cool. I know I say cool a lot, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, but uh, that's just what I like. So the ultra abilities, to me, they look really awesome. I do like the foiling and the artwork that they chose for it. Blackheart and all his cards look really, really nice in this set. Wolverine, I do like that they chose the, his original comic colors, like with the yellow and brown, as opposed to blue and yellow. I think these also, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe they have uh, short prints and super short prints, because they don't have parallels. Uh, so let's see, then the next we have uh, the glow-in-the-dark cards. 
So again, uh, in a case, I think, sorry, for the Ultra Abilities, in the case, I got about 10, 10 of, 10 of them, yeah. So out of 12 boxes, got about 10. I'm not sure what you can say about the odds in that. Uh, in terms of the glow in the dark cards, I got 5 in a case, so it's almost like 1 in every 2 boxes. Not guaranteed, but it's roughly around there. Uh, and then we have the Hellfire, which I have 8. And again, no duplicates, which is really cool. Uh, they do not have any parallels. This still is by far one of my absolute favorite costumes for Spider-Man. St uh, favorite versions in terms of the artwork and the and the suit. Um, the story is debatable. And then this one, uh, this is not McFarlane art, but it does sort of remind me of McFarlane art. And that's really cool. Got Werewolf by Night. And this Man Thing. Like, all the artwork for Man Thing in this set is better than I expected. I've never been a Man Thing fan. Uh, I never got really got into him, but all the artwork in the set of him has been really nice. I've actually genuinely liked it. There hasn't really been much artwork that I disliked. More so, maybe I would assume maybe there's a different option they could have went with in terms of the comic art that they chose. Uh, all the original artwork for like the base set, Ultra Shades, uh, to me were great. I, I didn't have any issues with those. And then now, obviously, the other main chase is the puzzle cards. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete it. I did not have any duplicates, however. Uh, but in a case, I have seven of the nine puzzle cards. So I was Death Rider, Vengeance, Blade, Iron Fist, Scarlet Spider. Uh, I think this was, sorry, I don't remember all their names. Jennifer Kale and Moon Knight. So the two I'm missing is, uh, I think, Frank Drake is number eight. And number one is Johnny Blaze. Uh, which is really unfortunate, because uh, it does look really cool when you put them together. Uh, I am considering like trying to find maybe those two online, see where I can get them for relatively cheap, because I don't know how much they go they're going for right now. I might buy them as singles, because uh, it would be cool to have a full set of these. Uh, I was thinking of doing the same for Flare Ultra Avengers, but I think maybe those might be a little bit too pricey, because those were also foiled. Um, these are not. These are just gloss. Uh, okay, so now let's get into the other hits, the numbered hits. So what do I want to go with first? Let's go through the base parallels first. Uh, and then we'll go from there to the inserts and then further up the ladder here. So let's go with the the base parallels. So I did get uh, six base parallels uh, where five of them were blues and one orange. So the blues were numbered to 180. I'll just quickly do like a recap. Again, I really love having that. And Vengeance also, those two. Uh, and then my one orange was his Mordred. And I know uh, Florian Harold did comment in one of my videos about pulling this, so that was also kind of cool. Didn't expect that. Uh, so shout out to uh, Florian Harold for that. I think I found there was other, there's also a purple base parallel, that's number 250 if I remember correctly. Uh, but I'm not sure, I only found one source that stated it, so I don't know how true that is. And then from the base set we have inserts. So the inserts, I have three blues and three reds. Now the reds is different from the base, the reds in the base are autographs, while for the instance, it's just red parallels. Uh, so it's kind of cool. We've got Blue, Spirit of Vengeance, uh, uh, Robbie Reyes. And then we have Spellcraft Stories with, I want to say, Denny Ketch because of the bike. Uh, and then we also have Strange Tales. In blue. and the reds, we have two Strange Tales and one Spellcraft Stories. Uh, sorry, it's going to end late. There we go. All right. So now let's move on to the other bigger hits. So I know the main draw for some are the medallions. So I'm going to go from 
start with the one star number to 200 and further up. So let's go ahead and do that. Just want to make sure. So in the case I got, uh, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven medallion, uh, parallel medallions. So I got three golds. Uh, one is Scarlet Spider. I really wish they did use more of the classic Scarlet Spider uh, artwork for this one instead of this. This one is not as... It's still good, but personally I would have preferred the other, the original one. Uh, and then we have Scarlet Witch. Really cool. And then obviously the gold classic Spider-Man, which is really awesome. Uh, and then for Platinums, uh, I did not realize this at first. I mentioned this in one of my videos already afterwards. Out of the fact that this was a platinum parallel number to 100 of Man Thing, I passed by it like without even realizing it, without noticing it. And then also have Daredevil, and then I pulled one red, which is numbered 50, of uh, Daredevil. I love when I'm able to pull uh, parallel medallions that match the color palette of the suit that the character is wearing for the artwork. So like this, I think this is really awesome. And then uh, we have a blue Captain America, which I also I think is very fitting that it's in blue along with suit, number 25. Uh, I'm mostly a collector, so um, this is for my personal collection. I don't plan on really selling or even trading. I think these are really cool to have in a collection. And you never know what happens with them. But yeah, by far, in terms of blue parallels, I think this is one of the uh, coolest looking ones because it matches his suit. His blue, red, and white suit. Uh, now the other ones you could get in terms of numbered hits are the Cracks and Tombstones, where I got three of them. So two reds and one gold. The two reds are numbered to 100, and then the gold is numbered to 25, I think. Yeah, so the gold is numbered to 25. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. Uh, oh, there we are. Yeah. So those are kind of cool. So I am kind of glad I did open those. I wasn't sure if I should or not. But afterwards, opening them, yeah. No regrets at all about that. Uh, what else do we have? So next we also have our uh, the autographs. So I won Ultra Shade uh, Doctor Strange. Auto, and then I have a um, Molek, Paradox, and Sister Nail, and that's really cool. I, I honestly didn't know what the odds were for autos, and they're all numbered to 100, uh, but I definitely did not expect to pull four out of case. Realistically, I thought it was going to end up being like one or two at most, uh, so that was actually kind of cool. Uh, then we had one comic clipping. Uh, from the pages of Books of Sins about the Darkhold. So this was out of 40, and this was the alpha number, because it's 1 of 40, so that's really cool. And then we also have two dark text booklets, which I put into one... Uh, I couldn't... F I was trying to fit them in, in a top loader, but I noticed... Uh, there was only I only had one thirty point in initially, and went by my car, uh, local comic shop, bought a pack of, hoping that there was something that's sort of one step up from one thirty point. But apparently they didn't have that. They only had one thirty or three fifty six. So I got the three fifty six, and lo and behold, um, it does fit two dark text uh, booklets in it, and it's not too tight, so it's actually good. It's a comfortable fit. Um, so these were two per case and then our ca uh, my case hit was the uh, Vengeance Jambalaya which to me is still really awesome love the coloring, love the color in the background that they cho chose for the foiling uh, these are not numbered but it is uh, number 6 of 24 so there's 24 Jambalayas uh, I'm not sure who the other characters are, but obviously a uh, good assumption is um, 
Doctor Strange, Cleo Strange, Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch, Robbie Reyes. Uh, who else we got? Um, I guess Jennifer Kale as well. Isn't there Spider Man for sure? Scarlet Spider, Moon Knight, right? So any jambalaya is actually quite welcome. But I, but for me personally, any character from the Ghost uh, related to Ghost Rider is what I would really love. So getting this vengeance is really cool. Uh, and that is the case hit. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that recap. Um, let me know what you guys thought of, of the set. Personally, I love it because it does deal more with the supernatural aspect, like vampires, spirits, and stuff like that, uh, including characters like uh, Blade for the vampire side of it with Dracula and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, would I, again, as I stated in the beginning of the video, would I buy another case? Probably not. Uh, this was just something entertaining. Like this was one particular set. I really liked the characters in it, so I went for a case. Uh, in the future, I might not. I know the next Flare Ultra set that's coming out is Wolverine. I most likely will end up maybe getting no more than six boxes. Uh, I haven't decided yet. And I know Marvel Beginnings Volume Two Series Two is also available for pre-order. Uh, what else is coming? I think Marvel Platinum is coming at the end of the month. Uh, it was stated it's supposed to come out next Friday. Uh, whether that happens or not, don't know. But I did have four boxes incoming. Uh, so we'll see. But I ordered... Uh, it was two separate orders, so I, there's no guarantee they'll both come at the same time. They may. If they do, that's cool. If not, then it will be two separate... Well, either way, I'm going to make two separate videos. I'll do two boxes per video. Because I feel like one box per video is kind of... Um, unnecessary maybe maybe it's better to condense them so doing more than one box in one video um, let's see so we have platinum I know ultra flare ultra wolf Wolverine is coming out Marvel beginnings volume 2 series 2 uh, oh and there's uh, the next Marvel annual set as well I think all three of those aside from platinum is coming out later this month those three are coming out supposedly uh, between April to May so it might be a while that I might not have anything up since uh, for the purpose of this channel I do open in particular focus on Marvel more I know I've opened up some Pokemon stuff it's only when I see a set that I'm like oh I really want to get some of these cards I'll open it for, for my channel but uh, otherwise uh, it will be mainly Marvel and I'm kind of hoping that they start to sort of they've caught up and it, and the uh, releases are not so compact together as uh, they have been in the last I think last year or so because it feels like almost every month or every other month there's something coming out uh, and it's not exactly like these boxes are cheap um, but as far as Flare Ultra goes Midnight Suns has been the cheapest thus far closer to what I would expect Flare Ultra Spider-Man when it first came on 2017 was about $175 Canadian a box so when I saw this for $205 per box, I'm like, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. It's not that much of a bump up. It's like 25 bucks. That kind of makes sense between 2017 and 2023. Like that, that makes a lot of sense. What doesn't make sense is when it's like over $300 per box, which I think Flare Ultra Avengers was somewhere around that ballpark. It was like about $300 a box, uh, which is why I, I chose to stay far away from uh, Metal Universe Spider-Man because when it first released it was seven over seven hundred and fifty dollars Canadian That didn't make sense to me for a Metal Universe box when they made the previous uh, X-Men well, they called it X-Men, but it was more just Marvel Metal Universe cards uh, It was like I think two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars per box and That was like oh, okay. That kind of makes sense to me. It's an all foil set, but when they released Spider-Man, I'm like that that's ridiculous it's over seven hundred dollars and you know what I was comparing that to I was comparing that to at the time I think it was 2020 uh, Palumbo uh, Marvel masterpieces and when I bought those boxes at the time they were like 350 to 370 per box so it's like getting something that's lower end compared to Marvel masterpieces but for double the price made no sense to me it the uh, like 
it, it just wasn't worth it. As much as I really wanted to get it because I was really into, I'm really into Spider-Man and I love the character characters and everything, but it's just it doesn't make sense for a average collector. It's I would say stay away from that product. It's it's not worth your money. It's not worth anybody's money. Um, and don't even get me started on people who call themselves um, card investors. I yeah. I'm just a collector, uh, plain and simple. I don't do it because I'm trying to flip these cards for a profit because I really don't care. That's not my point. That's not how I enjoy this hobby. Uh, to me, this is a hobby. It, it's not exactly a cheap hobby, uh, let's put it that way, but it is a hobby I do enjoy. And personally, it's mostly because of the artwork. If any time you feel like you can't even enjoy the artwork in, in this hobby, it's not a hobby to to stick with because it's not a particularly cheap hobby. But that being said, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, next sets. Oh, there is one other one I didn't mention, uh, Marvel Flare. Now, I don't know when that's coming out. I'm still waiting for my local card shop to have pre-orders for it. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Hopefully that will come and I can get a few boxes of that because that also is another set with original art. Anything with original art, those are the sets I particularly want most. Uh, even though I know with Marvel Beginnings and um, Marvel Beginnings, Marvel Annual, it's more comic art. Same with Metal Universe. But I still get them because I do like Marvel and Marvel cards in particular. So uh, those I would strictly just go for the base set. So uh, usually I get try to stay within like three, four boxes tops. Depending on the, the set number, obviously. With Marvel Platinum, I feel like I might have to go like 5, 6, depending, because it is a 200 card set. Same with Beginnings, but the problem with Beginnings is there's so many parallels, like a lot of parallels. Uh, you've got the base, and then they did, in the Series 1, they had blue, red, and black, which I felt was really unnecessary, because all three of those are not numbered. Uh, they really needed just the one. There was It was a lot of padding with so many parallels. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video there for now, and I will. And if you guys want to see more co content, and just remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.